Victoria Coast Guard Radio, Victoria Coast Guard Radio. Sir. Zeta Snyder has spent years on the water of Vancouver's False Creek, and for him, the protection of these waters and the ecosystem is paramount. It's a peninsula, and that has been really a challenge to making sure that we can keep the water clean because everything that comes into it basically stays here. Schneider's group is partnering with BC's Rain Coast Conservation Foundation to study the water quality in Falls Creek along with Metro Vancouver and the city. The regional district says Falls Creek is impacted by a range of environmental challenges, including pollution from urban development, sewer overflows and rainwater runoff. Everything that's on the roads, especially during big rainstorms, goes into storm sewers and the storm sewers, for the most part, just, you know, flush into Falls Creek. Over a course of two years, Metro Vancouver staff and volunteers will collect samples from multiple locations within the creek. We can imagine that some of the stressors are going to be related to humans, uh, pharmaceuticals and bacteria coming from human wastewater. Derelict boats in Falls Creek has also been a growing issue for years which Ross says can lead to even further water pollution. We are concerned there might be a lot of hydrocarbons from oils uh, on vessels uh, that leak. He says the study will help understand the scale of human footprint and will help shape conservation strategies for the future. High quality data that gives us insight into the priorities and problems that, uh, that False Creek faces gives us a chance to design programs to, to restore that that body of water uh, to its former stories. Howdy! Schneider believes the restoration of these waters is crucial as extreme weather events like heat domes become more frequent with climate change. We need sanctuaries, heat sanctuaries. Can you imagine what it would be like if young people could come and freely play in the water? Metro Vancouver says the findings of the study will be shared publicly once the project is complete in 2027. Saurabh Sandhu, CBC News, Vancouver.